Well, I think there are big challenges in, in reaching um, in, informal workers and finding cost-effective ways to engage with them and get them involved and develop trust so that their money will stay in the savings vehicles and, and uh, so that the final goal of, of, uh, of support in, in old age will be achieved. Financial literacy, in, in, in particular, is, 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 is very is very important, um, and the ability to communicate and reach in, in, e in effective, practical ways um, with these kind of people who may not be able to read and write some some of them um, is, is 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 challenging, and I think technology will play a huge role in making that feasible. The work that we do focuses mainly on operating efficiency of pension systems around the world. So it doesn't relate so much with engaging with the members and, and, and getting them involved, but what we have learned that is very critical from the work we've done with pension systems around the, the world is that it's very important to reduce unnecessary costs and optimize the value that's generated so that the, the beneficiaries will, will realize the value from the investment they've made long term in their old age. Well, it's an incredibly important issue. Um, today, m m more than one billion excluded workers in the informal economy face the, the grim prospect of, of abject poverty in their, in their old age. So it's something that society needs to do something about to avoid these long-term problems. So we're hoping that this will be a catalyst and a game changer to, make, to make, raise it on the uh, agenda of policymakers.